Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with my repacked wax box that I got for Christmas from my wife. Um, and this is the last, the finale, we'll call it, the last six packs from this box. I love ripping through these. Head over to repackedwax.com and uh, check them out. And um, I guarantee you, you'll have a good time. You, you know, it's hit or miss about what kind of cards you get, but guaranteed you'll get uh, some, some good quality cards in there and, uh, and have a good time. Like, let me just show you an example here. These are all the vintage ones, not classifying vintage as anything pre-1980. So anything 70s or 60s and 50s. Um, these are all the vintage cards that I got so far in this box. And they are in phenomenal shape. And there's just a lot of them. And they're making me really happy just to have them and, and collect them. So um, I love getting the vintage stuff. But there's also been plenty of 2022 stuff in here too. So a nice mix. Having a good time. Let's enjoy the last six packs together and see what we can find. Pulled a handful of things from my PC too, which is always exciting, including a Sean Dunstan. All right, starting off with a Fleer Tradition, Brian Lawrence, uh, Jeff Cirillo, 1996 tops. Look, a 1961 Earl Batty. Wow, that's cool. That's a good looking card there. I don't know much about him. We'll have to look him up playing for the Twins there. So that'll be our first vintage card. Larry Bittner. Jack Doherty, Mike Christopher, and look, there's 1971, or excuse me, 1970, Jim Nash. Nice and vibrant colors on the back of this one, so that's great. Two good vintage ones right, right in a row in the same pack. Uh, Bob Baylor, Roger, Roger Clemens, 1988 Fleer. There's a Los Angeles Dodgers from 94 score. Lindy McDaniel, 1973, so plenty of vintage in this one. Uh, Lou Gehrig from 1985 Donruss. This is the, uh, I guess, the puzzle that year. Steve Busby and our Angels leaders from 87 Tops. So a great start off to this one with some really good vintage cards that make me smile. All right, starting off with Jim Sundberg and 87 Fleer. Luis De Leon. Here's our first 2022 with an Adrian Hauser. David Otto, Keith Drumright, Juan Augusto, Manny Hernandez, Dave Schmidt, David Bell, Mike McFarlane. Ooh, look at this. Another Lee May. Same Lee May, right? No, Earl Batty. I got a, I got a Lee May earlier, I think, um, somewhere in there. So there's a Lee May. Look at that. Just fantastic. Is this 1960, I think, is the year that the, of this card. Such a cool looking card. Love it. Horace Speed, 1979. I've got Roger Clemens and Frank Viola, 293 Upper Deck. Dennis Oil Can Boyd, looking fabulous in 86 Donruss. And Alex Gonzalez for the Ted Williams set, which I am not a fan of. The set, not, not Alex Gonzalez. All right, so we are just crushing it with the vintage on this, uh, this session here. Next up is Bob Ojeda. Butch Weiniger, there's Kurt Suzuki for the Angels in 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Steve Bedrosian, there's Fred Lynn. There's Kelly Gruber rookie card with Randy O'Neill. Wally Ritchie, there's a Johnny Bench from Upper Deck Legends. Ozzie Guillen, Pittsburgh Pirates, Dickie Thon, Chris Speer, Spire, 79 Tops. Bill Doran, Bill Madlock, and finishing off with Roger Cedeno, 2001 Tops. Now, usually in the box, there's at least one kind of uh, aha hit. Um, I don't know that I got anything like that so far. I, I, I did get a Barry Bonds rookie, which is kind of like nice, but it's not that great. Uh, an 83 Fleer, uh, Nolan Ryan, which is nice too, but... There's been no, like, wow hit. I guess maybe Julio Rodriguez rookie, but again, that's just too too modern for that to be a wow thing for me. Uh, so we got Move On 92, uh, Ernie Witt, Bill Campbell. Here are the Tampa Bay Rays, 2022 tops. Benji Gill, Craig Reynolds, Gene Garber, Brad Moore, Greg Nettles, Luis Salazar. Stick into... Uh, 
not sticking to, but just, there we go. To Gary Wayne, there's a Luis Tiant. All right, 1978 tops, good looking card there. I like that one, I'm gonna actually add that to my little player collection I've got going for him. Matt Noakes, there's a Frank Thomas, 93 Donruss, Joy McLaughlin, and Greg Cataray. Only two packs left to go. Will we find some last pack magic coming up? Only time will tell. <coughs> There's Alex Fernandez to start us off with Garth Iorg, Bip Roberts, Jesus Luzardo. It's a nice one. Javi Lopez for 94 score. Is that a rookie card for him? Yes, I guess you could call that a rookie card. He might have one before that, but that's his uh, base card. Uh, Greg Nettles, Ray Searage, Mark Icorn, Leon Durham for the Cubs there. Manny Ramirez, 1993 Fleer final, or the update version. So that's a card I haven't seen before. That's a fun one. 93 Fleer update. Pat Dobson, 77 tops for a vintage hit. Mike Fitzgerald, Todd Zeal, Pat Putnam, and Willie Upshaw. All right, last pack. What do you got in store for us? Let's find something good. Don Ossie, 1983 tops. Uh, Derek Bell, Todd Worrell, rated rookie. Gene Garber. And all these cards are just in really good shape, too. There's so a Shannon Stewart, uh, rookie card there. Lee Mazzilli, Dennis Boyd. Kirk Gibson, Lamont Wade Jr., 2022 tops, Harry Spillman, and Joe Coleman, 72 tops, Rick Cerrone, uh, Bob Stinson, 76 tops, Kevin Chiraldi, and our last card is a Harold Reynolds 94 score. So I think the overall uh, output on this is plenty of vintage. Um, so let's just move all the stuff over here. So these are all the kind of stars and Hall of Famers. These are all the vintage here. So, I mean, honestly, there's a lot of vintage in this, this whole box. So what, what it lacked in star power maybe are big hits. It made up for it with just the number of vintage cards. <coughs> so that makes me happy, honestly, because I love getting these vintage. But we did lack kind of like that big bang moment. Um, you know, I guess I did get the, the J-Rod rookie here and uh, for my PC, got myself a Nolan Ryan, Xander Bogarts, Nolan Ryan checklist, and Mark Grace, and a Sean Dunstan. So the only one I don't have out of this is I didn't have this Bogarts or the, uh, the Nolan Ryan checklist. But um, yeah, so all in all, I give this box a C plus, we'll call it. Um, just from sheer fun, it was great with all these vintage cards and getting these uh, stars. But uh, again, no major, no major big hit was like, whoa, it made me gasp or anything like that. So um, that's what happens when you open these wax packs. But I really enjoy this product. Thanks, Repacked Wax, for another great, uh, great experience with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.